हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन सो हियर आई एम विद द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड एंड मोस्ट अवेटेड लास्ट मिनट रिवीजन फॉर मैथमेटिक्स सो आई हैव बॉट यू द प्रेशियस एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस एंड देयर सोल्यूशंस इन दिस सेशन ओके सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज ट्राई टू शेयर दिस क्लास एज मच एज पॉसिबल among your friends and aspirants who are getting ready for Karnataka TET examination okay please try to share as soon as possible okay so let us start this class so the first expected and most important question is from coordinate geometry the question is if the coordinates of a point are minus 3 comma 4 then it lies in so four options they are given are first second third and fourth quadrant so uh, imagine a uh, x and uh, y axis graph and uh, you can see where this minus 3 comma 4 lies it lies in second quadrant okay so option b will be the correct answer okay so i don't say that exactly this question will only come with minus 3 comma 4 i am trying to make you understand what type of questions will come okay so this type of question will come not exactly this question so some question related to coordinate geometry in a simple manner like this will come okay so you should understand what is first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth quadrant you should also know how to plot the graph in order to give the correct answer to this type of question okay clear right next question so the question is and the volume of a cuboid with length, breadth and height as 5x, 3x square and 7x to the power 4 respectively is. So, this question you can put it in the category of algebra or you can put it in the category of geometry. Correct? Because they are talking about volume of a cuboid. For this, you should know the formula for volume of a cuboid. It is a length into width into height or length into breadth into height that means you have to multiply all the given three terms that is length breadth and height okay so it can be in terms of algebra i mean to say it can be in terms of x or it can be just number also you never know okay so what you have to do here you have to multiply 5x 3x square and 7x to the power 4 if you do it mentally you will understand that you will get x to the power 7 see x to the power 1 into x to the power 2 into x to the power 4 what you do to multiply this x with the different powers you have to add up the powers with same variable correct so 1 plus 2 plus 4 will give you 7 see in which option you have x to the power 7 it is in option a by chance if you have options other options are also there where you are having x to the power 7 at that time what you do you have to multiply 5 into 3 into 7 5 3 is a 15 15 7 is a 1 not 5 so 1 not 5 into x to the power 7 will be the correct option for this question okay clear right see friends i am not uh, uh, trying to write and explain you the basics of mathematics in this class because i don't want to waste your time simple basic mathematical operations you all will do my aim here is to give you an idea about what type of questions will come in the examination. Okay. So, my request is please if you have not taken pen and a paper, please do take it right now. Pen and a book or pen and a paper and try to solve the problems along with me. I am giving you direction to solve the problems. If you are not understanding just now, right now, pause the video. Then try to solve it by yourself. Okay. So, if you have any doubt. Please do join my telegram channel. I will give the link in the description below this video. You can clear your doubts in that channel because that channel is connected to a group. So, you can discuss your doubts there. Okay. Then moving on to the next question. Now, this question is from probability. A bag has three red balls and five green balls. If we take a ball from the bag, then what is the probability of getting red balls only so what is the story try to understand the story in this type of questions a bag has three red balls and five green balls 
If you take a ball from the bag, then what is the probability that you are getting only a red ball? That is the story. Okay. So in this type of question, no need to see the options because you have to solve only. Unless and until you solve this problem, you will not get the correct answer. Okay. So what is the number of red balls? Three. Number of green balls? Five. So what is the total number of balls in that bag now? It is eight, right? Three plus five. Now what will be the probability of getting red balls only? Here what you have to do? Number of red balls by total number of balls. So you will get three by eight. In case if you had a question of what is the probability of getting green balls only? At that time what you would do? You would write number of green balls upon total number of balls. Number of green balls is 5, right? In that case, it will be 5 by 8. Okay, clear, right? So, here for red balls, it is 3 by 8. Okay. See, I am not going into details at all. Okay, now this is not the time for me to give details. It is like just give a glance and give you all a quick revision. That is why uh, I am making this video. Okay. Next, question number 4. If 1 by 2 is a root of the quadratic equation x square minus mx minus 5 upon 4. It is minus 5 upon 4. Okay. If this equation is equal to 0, then value of m is. So, what you do? You have to calculate the value by writing x is equal to half. Just replace x by 1 by 2. Wherever x is there, if you write 1 by 2, you will get m is equal to minus 2. Okay, you have to do simple simplification is there. 1 by 4 minus 5 by 4 will give you minus 1. Minus m by 2 minus 1 is equal to 0 or m is equal to minus 2. So, option B will be the correct answer. So, what is the main tip for this problem? Just substitute value of x in that given equation and do, do simple mathematics, you will get the answer. Okay. Next question, it is from arithmetic progression. So, if a is equal to 10 and d is equal to 10, then first four terms will be. So, they have given you first term, they have given you common difference. They are asking you to find the first four terms. So, you should be knowing the formula for that. What is the formula for that? If a1 or the first term is equal to 10, then your second term will be Whatever a1 you are getting, you have to add the common difference. Again, your third term will be whatever your a2 you are getting, again you have to add the common difference and so on. So, they are talking for four terms, first four terms. That's why I will add a common difference for each term. Uh, by finding a1, I will add a d to it. By finding a2 again, after adding d, I will find again a3. Again, once I get value of a3, I will add a d to a3 to get a4. So, that will be my a1, a2, a3 and a4. Okay. So, here in this uh, case, I have 10, 20, 30, 40. First four terms, right? So, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Clear, right? This is the correct answer here. Next, question number 6. Area of an equilateral triangle with side length A is equal to. So, they are asking you direct formula. You should be knowing that. Area of a equilateral triangle is square root of 3 upon 4 into a square. Okay. So, here this question gives you an indication that please learn all the formulae from mensuration. Okay. Please do that work because compulsory you will get 2 to 3 questions including circles and polygons and our quadrilaterals. Okay. And triangle of course. So, including all this, you will get 2 to 3 questions minimum. So, if you have a formula list, please do go through that formula list. Okay. So, correct answer here is root 3 by 4 a square. Okay. Next, question number 7. It is from trigonometry. So, from trigonometry, at least one, not one, at least two questions. Not at least two questions will come. One to two questions are guaranteed from trigonometry. So, please read the trigonometry table. Till 90 degree, you should know sin, cos, tan and uh, cosec, sec and uh, cot. Okay. Uh, so, here you should know the table. Just uh, you, they have given you sin 30 plus cos 60 minus sin 60 plus cos 30. You should find the value of this entire uh, trigonometric equation. 
So you should be knowing the values of sin 30, sin 60, cos 30 and cos 60. Just substitute and get the answer. You will get 1 minus square root of 3. Okay. So take it as your assignment. Just write down. Pause the video right now. Write down and match your answer and my answer. Okay. If I have made the mistake, please do write in the comment section. Okay. And if both of our answers are matching, then you are also not wrong and I am also not wrong. Okay. So we both are going in the right direction. Okay. Clear, right? Next, question number 8. A circle has a number of tangents equal to. Very interesting question. Very important question. 0, 1, 2, infinite. So, imagine a circle with tangents. You can draw as many tangents as you want because they are infinite. A circle has a infinite tangents. We can draw infinite tangents touching a circle. Okay? Clear, right? Next question. If the perimeter of the circle and square are equal, then the ratio of their areas will be equal to. So, this problem you have to solve only. Don't see the options. First, solve it. After you get the answer, match it with the options and take the correct answer. Okay. So, here what you have to do? You have to equate the perimeter of a circle to the perimeter of the square. Because they are telling that the perimeter of a circle is equal to the perimeter of a square. We know that perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r. We know that perimeter of a square is 4a. Now just you have to simplify and find the value of a. Once you find the value of a, you can take the ratio, right? Because they are telling us to find the ratio of their areas. So area of square I got is a square which is equal to pi r by 2 whole square. Because a is pi r by 2 I am getting. So a square will be pi r by 2 whole square. Area of circle I already know it is pi r square. So, pi r square upon pi r by 2 whole square. Now, if I try to simplify, what will happen? I will have 1 pi in the denominator. And uh, r square will get cancelled. I will have 1 pi in the denominator. And I will have 1, 2 in the denominator. So, this one will be the simplification. And your answer will be. 14 by 11 or 14 is to 11. Okay. Because here we are substituting the value of 1 pi which is remaining in the denominator. Okay. Of course, 2 was also in the denominator of the denominator. That's why the 2 was already having square. That became 4 and it went into the numerator. Okay. Clear, right? Next question. It is from statistics. The mode and mean is given by 7 and 8 respectively. Then the median is. For uh, this, you should be knowing the empirical formula. We know that mode is equal to 3 times median minus 2 times mean. So, with this, because they are given me mode and uh, mean, I will just substitute and simplify and get the value of the median, which will be 23 upon 3 here. Okay. So, you have to write and solve it whether you are also getting 23 upon 3 or not. Okay. So, these were the most important and expected multiple choice questions from mathematics. I really hope that uh, you all have attended this entire class because this one was a very, very useful class for mathematics. Okay, friends, I really hope that all these classes which I have been making for you all have helped you a lot. And uh, please do let me know in the comment section if they have really helped you. And also, please don't forget to share this very, very important classes among your friends and other aspirants. Okay? Thank you. All the best. Bye.